Coalition Co-Chair of the Australian Parliamentary Group for Tibet. Today there are a few thousand political prisoners in Tibet. I've had the pleasure of meeting many former Tibetan political prisoners who now live in Australia. Listening to their stories, I've learned a lot about the suffering faced by many Tibetans and their stories about hope and courage. Today I want to talk about one political prisoner in particular, the Pachin Lama of Tibet. He was six years old when he was abducted by the Chinese government some 25 years ago. To this day, the Tibetan and the international community do not know where he is. Pachin Lama's story represents China's violation of religious freedom in Tibet and illustrates their interference in an ancient religious tradition. On the 25th anniversary of his abduction, I call on the Chinese government to let the Pachin Lama of Tibet free. I'm Susan Templeman, Labor Co-Chair of the Parliamentary Tibet Friendship Group in the 46th Parliament. Labor believes in the rights of all people to live in peace and freedom wherever they are, including ethnic and religious minorities in China, such as the Tibetans and the Uyghurs. The world knows about the Dalai Lama, but not so much about Panchen Lama, who's just turned 31. And that's because the Chinese government has kept him imprisoned for the last 25 years. The Panchen Lama is the second highest Tibetan religious leader after the Dalai Lama. On the 17th of May in 1995, three days after six-year-old Gejin Chuki Nima was recognised as the 11th Panchen Lama by the current 14th Dalai Lama, he and his family were detained by the Chinese government. He became the world's youngest political prisoner and hasn't been seen in public since. The Chinese government has repeatedly ignored international pressure to release the Panchen Lama or even disclose information about his whereabouts or his well-being. 25 years is far too long for a young man to be imprisoned through no fault of his own. I support the Australia Tibet Council's campaign to help free the Panchen Lama. Hi everyone, I'm Senator Nick McKim. I'm the co-deputy leader of the Australian Greens and I'm also a member of the Australian Parliamentary Group for Tibet. Well, we're all in lockdown at the moment because of the coronavirus pandemic. And even though that's been really difficult and challenging for a lot of people, one thing we do know is that one day we'll come out the other side of this and our lockdown will be over. But the political prisoners of Tibet still do not know when they'll be free. The Panchen Lama, has been locked down by the Chinese government for 25 years. He was just six years old when he was kidnapped by the Chinese government. This is a great injustice and a great tragedy, not just for the Panchen Lama, but for all Tibetan people, no matter where they are in the world. And the story of the Panchen Lama exposes the brutal reality of the Chinese government's occupation and invasion of Tibet. For five years now, Freedom House has found that Tibet is the second least free country in the world, only after Syria. But the international community simply doesn't know what is happening in Tibet because the Chinese government has cut Tibet off from the rest of the world. And away from the gaze of the international community, the Chinese government continues to destroy Tibetan culture, continues to destroy the Tibetan way of life, and continues to destroy the beautiful and unique environment of the Tibetan Plateau. So we need to stand up for Tibet and we need to stand up for the Panchen Lama. The Australian Greens urge the Australian government to raise these issues publicly, to raise these issues directly with the Chinese government and join so many people right around the world to stand up for a free Tibet and to stand up for the Panchen Lama. Oh, yeah, but...